My eight-year-old son has been diagnosed with Asperger's two years ago, and he seems not to perceive himself as being different from other children. He does not know his diagnosis at this point in time, but when he gets upset, he sometimes cries things like, I want to be dead. I will jump out of this window. One time I actually had to pick him off the windowsill where he, was, where he stood glaring in my direction. I really don't know what to do about this. Is there something I can do? This is from Iris. Okay, there are two different issues here. One is he doesn't see himself as different. So if you talk about a diagnostic, he'll go in one ear and out the other because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, what, what are you talking about? No, okay. I think what you've got is a separate issue here. That is a tendency to catastrophize with emotions. And that's part of ASD. And that is a tendency that when you get an emotion, it tends to be in maximum volume. So if you're anxious, you hit the panic button. If you're feeling sad, you hit the suicide button in saying it. Now, when they say that, it is a genuine reflection of the intensity of the emotion. Mm -hmm. But what tends to occur is they're okay until a mistake occurs, something happens that upsets them, and they catastrophize. No, no, I'm going to kill myself, I'm going to jump from a bridge. But the interesting thing is, half an hour later, he's fine, as though nothing had happened. Mm -hmm. So... When they go into that state, mm -hmm. don't take it too much to heart. Yes, they are genuinely upset, but you need to watch them, stay with them. Don't necessarily ask, what's the matter, was it? Because at this stage, they're so upset by the emotions, they're not going to give you a coherent answer. You just say, you're very upset. If you can, live with it. It'll be over in half an hour. It'll go. I'm with you. I will stay with you. I love you, and I will support you. But eventually it will go, and then we'll carry on. Just stay calm it'll go. And then that person eventually, it will naturally, like a summer storm, blow itself out. Yep, I'm okay now. Fine. Okay. What, what's for tea? <laughs> <laughs> and mum's been quite upset for a long time. Because a typical kid to get that degree of extreme reaction means it's an extreme condition. This is the tendency within Asperger's to have very intense emotions. So she needs to work with him to find out what are the triggers for that intense emotions. Failure imperfections, criticism, teasing, laughing, mm -hmm. and then go through them with him. When that somebody says that, there are other ways of dealing with it. You're a smart kid. You don't have to do that huge mm -hmm. reaction. You can say, I'm smart. What they say is not wrong. I'm not stupid. Mm -hmm. I've got talent. I've got abilities. Mm -hmm. um, there are things that I can do to cope with this situation without an extreme reaction. This next is from Sleepy. And Sleepy says, after I was diagnosed at 43, my 83-year-old mother read five chapters, chapters of Asperger's, and diagnosed herself as being on the spectrum. What can I do to help her be more aware of important AS information that would help us both without bombarding and confusing her at this point in her life? What a compassionate, considerate thing. Yes. Well, first of all, this may explain to this person's mother a lot of things that make sense in their life. Yeah. And better late than never. And you can make peace with yourself and other people. <laughs> and I think that's very important. <laughs> and so it's really discovering together the bits that each person and both of them will have bits in common and bits that are not in common. And it's just like jigsaw puzzle pieces and just sort of finding out which bits are similar and which bits are not similar. And to just go with, through with her as sort of a voyage of discovery that what bits will explain when you were a kid and why you did that and why people reacted in this particular way. Purely as a personal exercise, doesn't need to be formally diagnosed in your 80s, but just to make sense of the world. But it also may mean that it could repair bridges yes. with various people, mm -hmm. especially family members that have been, why is mum like that? Oh, I can't stand her when she does that. She's mean, you know, etc. Well, no, she's just not reading the signals, she's doing it this particular way. So it may help the mother, but I'm also concerned that other family members may now appreciate who she is yeah. and what she's faced. Well, it's just such a wonderful opportunity for Sleepy to sit down with her mother. Yes. And, and, and share that rapport. I, yes. I just, first off, Sleepy, I, I'm, I'm impressed by how compassionate you are that you're thinking of your mother okay. in this regard. Now, I'm going to add another bit to that. What mm -hmm. I do when I'm meeting somebody in their 70s or 80s for the first diagnosis, yeah. I will say to them, if you could turn back time, what would you do differently? If you had someone else who's following the same path, I need your wisdom. There are things that you do that did that succeeded, and there are things that didn't. We need that wisdom. You're a wise elder in the cultural tribe of Asperger's. We need to pass that on. So when you were 16, a 16-year-old girl, what would have helped you then? When you were a 25-year-old, when you got married, when you had kids, mm -hmm. what worked and what didn't work? I need to take note of that.
because I want to make sure that those following you have the advantage of your experience and wisdom. I wish there was some way we could start an archive of thoughts like that. Wisdom from the elderly. Yes, but it needs to be on video and it needs to be captured and passed on so that one of the things that's so important for those who become depressed is suicide can be thought of because the view is it'll never get better. I'll always be like this. Yeah. But they need to talk to people who say, yes, it does. It does get better. You may well find a relationship, but a late developer. You may well get that job. I thought, like you, that I would never do that. But that is far more credible than for me as a psychologist. Mm -hmm. Because somebody who's been through it may be yeah. worse, who says, I have a much better life now. I've yeah. come to terms with myself and peace with various things. I forgive those who are mean to me. I've moved on. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying life. But they need to see that. They need to hear it. They need to feel it. Otherwise, they feel, I'm never getting any better. Yeah. I might as well die.